Hey everyone! So this past week I had my birthday and I turned 24 on the 24th. So it was actually my golden birthday and I had a really nice day. I did have to go to work, but that's okay. And it's just, I can't believe I'm 24. I just feel like time is flying by, but things have been going well, so that's good. So I wanted to do this video because I've been hauling over the past few weeks for my birthday and I would have made this video on my birthday but I knew the Fabulous Felines collection was coming out at MAC on Thursday. So I wanted to wait to do the haul so I could show you those goodies also. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot of stuff to show y'all. So first I'll show you what I got from Ulta. And this was a few weeks ago, but I got a few things that I'm really liking. And this first thing is the ever so popular Naked Palette from Urban Decay. I am in love with this thing. It is, it's, it's just as awesome as everyone is saying online. It's just, it's got so many just awesome colors. It allows you to do so many looks. And I'm not going to swatch it because I know there's already a billion swatches online. But, I don't know, if you're holding out and thinking about getting this, go ahead and get it. I think it's an absolute must-have in anyone's collection. It's just, it really is an excellent palette. Next, I actually picked up a perfume from Ulta. And I actually bought it because... I have their membership and I spent so much over the past few months so I was able to get a free perfume which is a definite nice perk. So I got Falling in Love from Philosophy and I've actually, I've had a mini bottle of this a long long time ago and I forgot how much I love it. This is such a nice just girly feminine scent. To me, it smells very much like cotton candy, and you would think that's a little bit too sweet, too girly, but it really isn't. It kind of softens down to just a really, really nice fragrance. I will tell you, at least in my experience, guys love this because my boyfriend just says it smells like food, and he really likes when I wear it. But I've also gotten compliments from multiple people when I wear it, so this is a very nice fragrance. I'd say it's definitely wearable in the fall, too, just because it's not overpoweringly sweet or fruity or anything like that. Okay, next I'm going to show you some nail polishes that I picked up from Ulta. And these are all from the new Swiss or Switzerland collection. I can't remember. They are beautiful. So I'll go ahead and start with this first one, which is called Diva of Geneva. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful color for the fall. It's this like, what is it? It's a burgundy, plummy, purpley, just so beautiful. And it actually has like a gold sheen to it. This is such a beautiful color. And I really didn't have anything like this in my nail polish collection. So this is a very, very nice one. Next is this very, very pretty Cuckoo for this color. And this is just a gorgeous teal, uh, kind of blue color. I actually wore this on my toes a couple weeks ago, and I really like it. And again, another beautiful color for the fall. Okay, the next one is called Glitzerland. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, gold, shiny, shimmery. Oh, it's just, I really like this one. Probably going to be nice for the holidays and just any party I might go to. You know, it's just so kind of, oh, not over the top, but just, it's very special. Not an everyday polish. And lastly is, I don't know if I can pronounce this, Lucertinly Look Marvelous. <laughs> And it's basically kind of like the Glitzerland, the gold one, but it's silver and just super sparkly and pretty. Again, a really nice color for the holidays, for parties, anything like that. And since I spent 
ten dollars at least ten dollars on OPI colors, I got this little mini set of nail polishes, which was really nice. Um, and again, it's just some really pretty colors for the fall, so I thought that was nice. The first one is Brisbane Bronze, which is just a nice bronze kind of mauve color. Then there's Bogota Blackberry, which I really like this one. It's a deep, deep red metallic. And then Black Cherry Chutney, which almost looks black probably in the packaging, but it's just a deep, deep burgundy. Okay, next is my very tiny Lush haul. One item. I know that's crazy for me. But I picked up the Lovely Jubblies Breast Cream. I know it's kind of a very strange item to get, but I really, really like it. It's not a very thick, thick cream. It smooths out really nicely. It absorbs quickly. The smell is so good. I think that's why I like this product so much. It, I think it has, like, roses and jasmine, and I don't know. It's so floral and so nice smelling. I just really, really like it. And it's supposed to be used like on your breast area, up into your neck area, and it's supposed to firm. I don't know how well it works. I mean, I've used it a couple times, but I do like it just as a kind of nice light lotion. And the sales lady actually told me you can take a little dot on your pinky and kind of just put it under your eyes if you want to firm up that area too. So I thought that was a really nice extra little tip on how to use it. So I really do like this product. Okay, next I'm going to show you my little haul from Sephora. The first thing I got is this brush. And it is called their Grab and let me see. Their Grab and Go brush. I really like it. It's I mean, it's their soft bristles. I like this one for applying blush and I've been liking this one just for a quick sweep of color on the uh, eyelid. So I think this is a nice brush to have. Next, I got a Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick. I really like this. It, it kind of is a different sort of lipstick. It's not really the, the typical form of lipstick you might think of, but I do really like it. It, it smells really nice. It kind of has a syrupy smell and it's very pigmented. That's a little swatch of it. This is in the color Las Vegas, and it really does like plump up your lips. You kind of feel not necessarily a stinging sensation, but a nice tingling sensation when you put it on your lips. So I really like this. Next, I got a little mini bottle of the Josie Marin Argan Oil. I have been loving this stuff. I think it's kind of amazing. <laughs> I've been using it at night just as kind of a light moisturizer. It really does a nice job. There's so many things you can use this for. You can put it on your cuticles to soften them. You can put it on the ends of your hair for like split ends. You can use it on your face. You can use it on your body. I just really, really am enjoying this product. Also from that line, I got the Josie Marin Argan Lip Treatment. And it's a cute little packaging, but I really like this stuff as a lip balm. It's, it's very, very smoothing, very moisturizing, and to me it smells like apple pucker, which you shouldn't know what that tastes like or smells like unless you're 21 or older, but it's kind of a sour apple smell. I really like it. And finally, from Sephora, I got a Tarina Tarantino Magic Hour Cream Shadow. I know this is from the new collection. It's probably limited. And I got it in the color Nebula. And just the packaging alone is gorgeous. It's this like metallic oil spill rainbow looking top. It's so pretty. But the actual product is pretty neat. So it looks like just a white kind of cream shadow and I think I'm gonna probably use this as like a base for eyeshadows but so it only it just looks white right but then I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to tell I hope you can when you swatch it it's like an iridescent blue purple which is so pretty 
And actually, it kind of reminds me of Vellum Eyeshadow from MAC, which I really like because it's kind of that duochrome. So I really like that.